I'm speed running this game at this point. I know exactly what I'm doing. Ah! Uh oh. I mean, I'm clearly great. All right, I'd like to talk about something. Here we are searching for the horror tag in Steam. Hi, I'm Mr. Red, by the way. Uh, in Steam, and I'm looking. I'm sorting by release date. This is how I choose new games to play. And then I scroll through this. I find something that looks interesting, that looks like something I would want to play, something that would be fun. And I see this, and it's called Sleepy. And I'm interested in Sleepy because of the name and the art style and the stuff. And I don't see anything about this game that looks horror to me. Perhaps I'm simply missing it. Perhaps I'm simply not seeing anything. Why is this game being advertised to me when I search for horror? This does not seem like a horror game. We're going to play it. We're going to play it. And we're going to find out if it's horror and if it is not, I'm going to be so pissed off. Uh, Keitano Morales, uh, Hugo Razven, and e are not going to see it coming. I'm going to be irate with them. So get yourselves ready for that, guys. All right, here we go. Story mode, V1. All right. Press space on the keyboard or A on the controller to continue. I don't have a controller. I have a keyboard. I guess you did account for that when you said press space on the keyboard. Hello, this little guy right here is a blear. Is it white now? All right, he's a blear. Your goal is to guide every sleepy blear to their bed at the end of each area. There will be some traps in your way, and sometimes you might want to give up. It's going to be difficult, but I encourage you to stay determined. Oh, what is this, Undertale? Oh, and one last thing. Die, try dying less than 4,500 times. You can check your death counter in the pause menu. It's a lot of times. No pressure, though. Dying that many times should be pretty hard. It's just like getting every bleer to their bed as quickly as possible. If you're too slow, oh, he might catch you. Okay, well, maybe now we're talking. Good luck. Remember to stay determined. All right, space to jump. Uh, AD to move. The bar above you is energy as it... Okay, I fell asleep. Gotcha. As it goes down, when you get closer, your jump gets weaker. Uh-oh. When it empties, you fall asleep. After some time, you wake up with your energy restored or in queue. Will drain your bar faster? Why would I want this? Uh, this is a pair coin. There are four hidden around every map. Okay. When you complete a map, you will visit a shop where you can buy upgrades using these coins. This is a sign. Read every one you come across. They will teach you from now on. Wait, what about you? My friendly tutorial. Hey, this is the start of your journey, and this is a checkpoint. When you die, you will respawn at your last checkpoint. I, okay, I guess. Oh, that's the checkpoint. I didn't die. Use space or W to climb up a ladder. Why does the space? Why does the space? Why does the space? Press R to respawn. This will add. This will still add to your death toll. Guys, I know you're afraid of like the MPAA, MPAA or something coming after you, but you can give me a little something. I mean, uh oh, oh, my jump was severely diminished there. That's what it was talking about, I think. And maybe that's why you queue so you can wait and then go. Ha-ha! Oh, he! Oh, I'm alive. Okay, I didn't get that checkpoint, though. There's a pear. When you eat it, your bar will refill a little. Oh! Okay, I was almost... I was almost... Left click on your mouse or O on your keyboard. Uh, yeah, that's way too far away. Uh, in the air to use your abilities. Your bar goes down quicker while doing this. Uh-oh! Look at me! Some platforms will fall, some act like seesaws. You're not gonna tell me what's which one? Who's where now? That was neither. Oh, it was a folly. Uh oh! I gotta wait. Uh, what's my death counter, by the way? It doesn't seem to exist. Oh! Thought I could make it. 
I'm speedrunning this game at this point. I know exactly what I'm doing. Ah! Uh-oh. I mean, I'm clearly great. I feel like the strategy would be to just wait it out every time. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Oh! Okay, that was... That was hairy. Uh, but then again, it mentioned don't wait too long or he will catch you. And I'm a little concerned about all of that. But I don't know what to do about it, uh, to be honest. I had some jump pros. They should be obvious. What? Pads. Haha. <laughs> it should be obvious what they do. Remember, sometimes you need to sleep in dangerous places to pass the section. Okay. What does that mean? What, like this? Okay, all right. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Well, that's not good at all, is it? Okay. I think I'm, I think I'm, I think I'm smelling what you're stepping in. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. What the hell, then? What the hell, then? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I stubbed my toe. Because here's the thing. Wait, maybe there is the thing. Oh, okay. Uh, so I can see those buzzies. Oh, man. The timing on this has got to be impeccable. Now. Damn it. Damn it. I, so you gotta wait, I guess, until they're like, well, no, not when they're there. When they go away. Oh, God. This might be impossible. Uh-oh. Hey. Whoa. Okay. Maybe now. Maybe good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. What? Are you serious? Maybe I'll just wait here. I know I just got food, but this is a bad place to be. Okay. Whoa, uh, uh, uh. What? Why do I keep slipping? Okay. No! No, Wilbur. Damn it. Oh, it sucks that there's no checkpoint there. Oh. Uh oh, not gonna make it. Uh! So, just going is not the way to do it. You have to wait. You have to wait. No, oh, wake up. Wake up! Uh-oh. Nope. Um. I want to know what this bullshit is about don't wait too long or he will come for you. I'm curious about that. Uh-oh, this isn't good. Also, it, it did say there would be a death counter, but, uh, gotta be honest with you. No! I'm not seeing one. I keep forgetting how the rules of this game are. What? Okay, sleep. Sleep. Yeah, sleep. All right, fuck it. Guys. Psh, I hit escape. And it did this. Thanks for watching. Uh, how long have we been going? Not that long. Let's play something else. Oh, now it says 25. Okay, whatever. Quit. The Eyes of Dr. Kautzman is a first-person point-and-click detective game inspired by German expressionist cinema. Solve environmental puzzles to uncover the tragic history and secrets of a doomed town. German expressionism, you say? So then that means that it will consist of several related creative movements in Germany before the First World War that reached a peak in Berlin during the 1920s? These developments were part of a larger expressionist movement in North and Central European cultures in fields such as architecture, dance, painting, sculpture, and cinema. This article deals primarily with the developments in German expressionist cinema before and immediately after World War I, approximately from 1910 to the 1930s. And that's just off at the top of my head. So you understand that I know a thing or two about a thing or two. We're going to play this game. Uh, this is going to be fun. I think. I feel like I always say that about these games, but this one's different. Oh, okay. 
All right, we are just going, aren't we? Oh, interesting. Interesting. I don't know what to do. Okay, hold on. I can go left or right. Let's go left. That just takes you back. What if I go right? That just takes you back. I should have known. Oh, my God. Is this my house? Why would I want to live here? Unity and modernity? What the hell is that thing? What the hell is that thing? Is that don't go out the door? That looks like a door to me. Uh, is this a train track? Is this a field of grain? A field of wheat? What do Germans eat? I don't know. Sauerkraut? How do you make sauerkraut? What is sauerkraut? I don't know. This looks like a farm to me. Oh, this might be a windmill. Oh, well then it's not an X'd out door at all. It's a windmill. Obviously. Uh, and these are the masses. These are the proletariat. So that's what we have to work with. What is this and why can't I pick it up? What is this and why can't... Well, I know what that is, but I can't pick it up. Books? Inkwell? Bro, why even have a game then if I can't click on the right button? Does that. Fun. Okay, so I bet I can't click on any of these, so I won't even try. Just kidding, I, I probably can. Oh, my God. Okay. <clears throat> I fear the horrors that transpired tonight cannot be undone by any means of this world or the next. The blame can be laid solely upon the shoulders of that deceitful doctor about whose true moral fiber that can no longer be the merest shadow of any doubts. It wounds the very pits of my heart to see our benign and endearing way of life cast aside with such a reverence as though our beliefs and traditions were but as leaves to be swept away in the autumn, or to have the permanence of a leaf. What occurred tonight is perhaps more akin to a fly being struck from the air, its killer and pivotal passing without meaning or memorial. For as long as records have stood to attest, and perhaps for generations before even that, Acorn Manor has served as the seat of the Void family and is the watchful protector of Oakenwell, a veritable lighthouse on the rocks through the town's story history. Built by our ancestors upon the hill that overlooks the sacred trees beneath this house has long been connected to the town and its people. Today, a distinct air of melancholy hangs in these halls, and is our faith in particular whose past is most entwined with that of the manor in ways our histories have forgotten the last of the doctor's residency is once familiar halls have become as strange to me now as though they were to the retreat of wolves and bats it is with the key remorse that i write this confession my decision to place my trust in the doctor was in equal measure naive and indigenous injudicious, injudicious and it may have set my people down a doomed bathroom which is impossible to divert to remember the doctor on the day of his first arrival at oakenwell a day on which the town was the most fierce grip of famine is to remember a man who seems now entirely incongruous with the man i saw tonight and i know on that day that the doctor held in his terrible heart the will to carry out such terrible and foul deeds i dare say i would rather face this devastation of the famine alone than trust in him with our salvation perhaps it is less heavy a burden upon the soul to see friends and company starve with their own homes than it is to see their faculties and virtues laid bare and replaced by evils and wants. Can the place they have been for how can these people that I have loved so dearly through all their good health and all their sickness, all their summits of their happiest days and the fits of their most sorrowful, how can they stand idle and silent while the symbol of their hopes and faiths burns before them? For the doctors burned our sacred oak trees, those self-same trees that we lived and died by. Pray to for forgiveness and for aid, are reduced now to the charred bones. Our spirits are forever cursed to water these lands. Aimless is the wind and empty as this hollow manner. Had I not questioned the doctor's methods when our faith perhaps have been spared? These thoughts I go through my mind is the minds of my people alike. I cannot be certain if the feelings of guilt that prey upon me should be heated, or if they are some part of the doctor's machinations which are intended to harden the hearts of the masses against me. Whatever the case, it is difficult to believe the people might stray from the doctor's role for them after the terrors we have witnessed tonight. After all, they are in a more fit state of health than they were before the doctor's arrival. Though I sense that the true cause of this is yet to reveal itself. For now, it has become clear that they hold more faith in him than they do in me, this house, or their own gods, which are now to them like disease and livestock. <sighs> Boy, I I don't know what came over me just then. <clears throat> My dear Santa, forgive me in my delay in writing, but there has been such a remarkable change in this town in so short a time that I've hardly had a chance to collect my thoughts this morning. The doctor gathers new working force to sit back about employing them, though out throughout Oaken Hall to, to ease the suffering of the famine. It seemed to me almost miraculous that so profound a transformation could overcome our people and our fortunes get deferred from the most high. <laughs> Dire past, no one of such help. But in a single day, in but a single day, in fact, this is surely the work of a man most alerted in the subtleties of the human mind to have aroused us with so mere words. It was strange that after our faith had so long been in doubt, there was such a sense of purpose and clarity surrounding the works, the words, the works, the works of that morning, the works, the irks, the twerks of that morning, as our host of two score volunteers made a sweep of the town, gathering all consumables from every house and every store. Events was that word. Now that I see the word every, it kind of helped me. A handful of villagers were so understandably reluctant, in some cases violently so, to put with the goods that they had protected for so long and this did not go unremarked upon by some volunteers who took it as a basis on which to question the doctor's methods, but I reassured the villagers and volunteers alike that the doctor intended to fairly and evenly distribute the supplies of the entire town in such a manner that all would benefit and receive only that which was required. Once convinced of this, by means of reason or otherwise, all the villagers parted with their food, and we established a base of sorts in front of the town hall, which it could be from which it could be redistributed. The hall's clock face declared that it was mid-morning by the time the preparations had been completed. It was astonishing how easily our uniforms and official mandate allowed us to assume control of the situation here to board considered aimless and lost. I reassured my brothers and sisters of Gale. Oh, it's probably Oakenwam. I don't know why that looked like a G, and I was like, new word alert! 
With renewed vigors, they waited to turn to receive the rations that had been promised to them. Whilst my fellow volunteers, my fellow volunteers, and I forged forms of great comfort, found great comfort in providing service to our community, there was nonetheless any uncanny sense, an uncanny sense of doubt that occasionally clouded my mind. But it was the twin of the hungriest and most pitiable, pitiable, was, was it be pitiable of the villagers. Oh, Anna, oh, Anna, I pray you shall never have to send away a starving child with inadequate rations. It is a detestable feeling how to give each of them a piece of my very soul along with their bread if it would have abated their hunger for just a while longer. I must continue to recall the wisdoms the doctor gave us on that first day along with his handbills. His promises of technology for the cities that will enrich our harvest tenfold, of trades that will bring food to our very doorsteps from strange lands of which we have no conception, of an end to the material, material struggle that has haunted us as a grotesque shadow. We must believe in unity, in modernity, hey, uh, in modernity through the doctor. My heart trembles at the prospect of you and the little cloud suffering while I, in my folly, had the false wisdoms of a man whose words belie motives, unwholesome and foul, but... While our people starve in the streets and no plausible alternatives present itself, we must keep faith in the doctor. Remember, that is my love for you and Klaus that drives me to act, and no other voice than yours shall hold influence upon my actions, save for that of the doctors alone. Yours ever, Walter Schultz. All right, let's go to page four. Oh, we're done. Okay. Jesus Christ! Why have so much text so early in the game? I don't even think I got any of that. I was too focused on... Uh, reading it all properly. Uh, it seems that there's a doctor. Perhaps this is the doctor. The doctor who is, um, I can't close, I can close these, in fact. Uh, what's he doing? He's helping people, but someone's suspicious. Is that what's going on here? Uh, it's kind of hard to tell, but that appears to be the long and short of it. Oh, I think I accidentally... Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I crawl in here? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Isolation makes mockery of one's faculties. Though he knows this only too well, time has become that most slippery and indefined of things. It is the ill-defined of things. It is the only rock to see about knowing is the uncertainty that every passing moment brings me closer to the day of his arrival. Who? And what then? Perhaps it is better to pay madness than to suffer whatever fate he keeps reserved for those who do not conform to his monstrous ideals. Though how can any fate be worse than mine own? To be trapped in this hideous place with naught but... The merciless wind for company that howls against these walls by day and whispers dreadful thoughts to me by night. This recess provides my only sanctuary, for perchance he is not aware of its existence. The mechanism here must be connected to the inner workings of this place, and by the gods are good. If the gods are good, it will prove the key to my escape. Alas! The combination eludes me. I have searched every inch of this accursed room to no avail. If indeed this contraption is unknown to him, surely its combination must also be beyond his knowledge, though likely the foremost thought in the minds of whoever built this place. I dare say the secret of the combination is now lost and buried deep in the hearts of this town's founders. But perhaps there is no confirmation. Combination and the orc is merely a device to further torment and deceive me. Designed by his own hand is my punishment for defying him. Whether this is the case or not, I feel I must continue my search for the notion that this room is without escape would so utterly defeat my soul that I fear I would not have the will to rise and beat the day any longer. I leave this note in the hopes it may be found by one who falls foul of that madman in times to come. The thought that there will come a day when I am no longer the sole occupant of this prison gives me some solace, but for now I continue to await his judgment in silence. Carl Hoffman. Okay, these people are verbose. Why not simply not write quite so many words as all that? Why not quite simply not do that? All right, well, I need the combination is, I think, the uh, <laughs> the summation there is what we learned. Okay, I think, I think I'm back where I started. Yeah, okay. Uh, this is my bedroom, I'm guessing? All right, what's in here? Okay, everyone, take a deep breath. <laughs> here we go. Oh, my God, all right. My dear, is a change in spirits has overcome this town. Though I fear it is not for the better. It is as though the wind has taken a sudden change in direction. And we must bend under its new course. This is so much harder to read all of a sudden. Under its new course that we break our stiff reluctance, break in our stiff reluctance. It is my dear hope that you can see as plainly as I the folly and relying upon a vampiric madman who lies hidden in his lair while people's people suffer without. I felt it imprudent enough that you volunteered to stand aside the doctor as one of his hounds, but to abandon your family in times as harsh as these seems plainly cruel and unbefitting your temperament. I implore you to return to us, if not for my own sake, then that of our Hilly, who is not used begin to lose strength and believe that her father will ever leave that cursed manor. When she gave you that gift, the day you locked yourself away with the doctor, it was in the trust that you would always keep it near your person, and its melody would provoke a remembrance that you would play on your heart and recall you to us. Thought she could doubtless never, though she can never doubtless give, never give her voice to these motives. She wears them upon her herself outwardly, whether in her knowing or otherwise. Your past actions, be they by your own or that doctor's with, are of no matter to me now. I lay the suffering of our people at his doorstep only, and in the depths of my heart I know that yourself are kept in that manner by his unholy will and not your own. <laughs> by all that you hold sacred and righteous, renounce your place at his side and join us in our fight. Perhaps we may begin our lives over in a place less wretched than this, where I can no longer bear to live in the shadows of that manner and its ignoble inhabitants, yours in faith, free of power. Christ alive, these people. Is there another page? There's not? Okay, I'm shocked. I feel like I need to take this, but I simply cannot. Uh, did you catch any of that? I think it was saying some nonsense about A. Um, I would like to go to the bed, please. I would like to take a nap, please. I can't. Rude. 
Uh, music? It was saying something about music. Let's read that again, actually. Uh, yeah, keep near your person, and its melody would provide provoke a remembrance that would play in your heart. Okay, so what makes music? I don't know what that is. I'm confused. Was there anything? Uh, should I be clicking on stuff in here? By the way, is there gonna be like a secret? Like one of these bros? Will give a secret? No. Hmm. Uh, there's some. Gl Hello, yes? Don't do that. Oh, was that just the door? Mm. I scared myself by a door. Well, let's go outside, I guess. Weird that that wouldn't work. I kind of thought that it might have had. Uh, what? By the way, what time is it? Is that... Uh, so, let's see. That's a 12 o'clock. No, not a 12 o'clock. That's an o'clock. So, it's an o'clock. I'm going to guess two. I'm going to guess two o'clock. Two o'clock, Monday o'clock, nine o'clock rock. Uh, you cannot look at the halls beside me. I can only look back or that way, that way. Uh huh. Uh huh. This might be a pretty quick uh, game if I can't figure anything else out. Because there's not a whole hell of a lot to look at here. Uh, in fact, I believe I've looked at everything I can. There's no indicator when you're hovering over something if you can click on it or not. Which leads me to believe that there's going to be some bullshittery nonsense when it comes to, uh, 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 you know what I'm saying. I don't need to finish that thought. But I guess I will. Click it on stuff. I don't know. Like, there's going to be something somewhere that's like, oh, you have to click on this, and you wouldn't know it. Like, this chair. But no. The window. The window. I can't. I simply cannot. Why do people make games like this where you cannot play them? Like, what's what's what, what's the thought process here? Like, oh, you know what would be fun? To make a part of a game. To have, like, a start. And then that's it. No finishing. Does this have something to do with something? I could see that it, maybe it might. What if the... Okay, so there's two dashes here. And then there's a bunch over here. All right. Fuck that. There's a Boy Scout logo over there. That's not really helping me much. I assume there's got to be like a code hidden somewhere. But as far as I know, there's no numbers anywhere. Like... There's no numbers anywhere, as far as I know. Let's take a look back here. Let's try to take what, 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 what? All right, isolation, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I have searched every inch of this accursed room to no avail. If it is, it's unknown. The knowledge foremost in the minds of whoever built this place. I dare say the secret of the combination is now lost and buried deep in the hearts of this town's founders, but perhaps there is no combination lock device. Okay, so this all implies to me... Wait, maybe it's 1910. Maybe it's 1910 because that's the German expressionism. But no. Uh, what does this imply to me? I'll tell you in a minute. This implies to me this bullshittery because like a locket are usually shaped in a heart. And so a heart-shaped locket would be it. But it's not. I moved my camera recently, so I was looking around for it. I was, like, looking up at the camera, but it's over there now. Uh, I don't know, you guys. This might have to be it for me. I don't... I, I'm sure that there's just something I'm not clicking on. I, I'm trying... By the way, I know what you're thinking. I am trying these books. Uh, I clicked on the books. Nothing's happening. And I go over here. There's books. Can't click on them because it'll take me away. Take me away! These books, same story. What about these triangles? What about the triangles? Let's back up and take a look. So we have one, two, three, four triangles. Cool. What else? What, what else? What else are numbers? There's a two o'clock. But there's, that's only three digits at most, if you're being very generous. 
All right, Herman Voigt, what did you say about anything about anything? Nothing. Is it uh, one, two, three, four, five, six? There's six that are crossed out, and there's zero that's crossed out here. So maybe, and there's zero here. So what if this is one and it's zero? This is two and it's six. This is three and it's zero. And then how many is crossed off in here? One. Okay, so zero, six, zero, one. I don't know. Let's just try it. There's really only one way that we can try it. That wasn't it. All right, well, let's go. Let's do it. The old-fashioned way. Wait, what was that? Wait a minute, that made a different sound. Wait a minute, that made a different sound. Wait a second, that sound was different. That was a different sound it made just now, and it didn't reset like it did before. Are you serious? What? 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 Nothing's dip. It's. What? 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 Did I do it? How? I, I, I don't understand. I don't understand. Is are we? Is this just it? Are we just back here now? Okay. Yeah. Well. All right. Thanks. I guess we did it. We got to the end of Act One somehow. I guess it was zero 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 five. Obviously. All right. Well, I consider this an absolute win. So thanks for watching. Yeah. Yeah. Is all I can say about this. This was interesting. I liked the art style. I liked the way it looked. Little confused about the puzzle element of it, but maybe that was just me. Maybe there was something stupid obvious in there that I just didn't even notice or pick up on. But thanks for watching. Uh, tune in for more exciting videos from me, Mr. Red. Until then, stay spooky out there and remember, keep watching. Uh.